Let's begin on our project tab and we'll start with our projects window. Again, here's where we go to see all of our active projects in Design Manager. Currently, I have two, both for the same client, the Carters. I have their Pennington home and I have their Brigantine Beach home. And as I said at the beginning of the demonstration, the project window is where we go to enter in all of our address information, contact information, and some customizable settings that can really hone the experience for ourselves to our client's needs. Let's take a look at the Carter's Pennington home as an example of the project window. And we can see I have the Carter's as our client, I have our project code, the project name. I often change the project name to actually describe what are the goods and service or for what project are we providing these goods and services. Of course, I know the client is the Carters, but I like to customize or individualize the project name by saying it's for their Pennington home, sort of describing the scope of the project. On the project window, we have the billing, site, and shipping addresses, all of which could be the same, and they certainly could be different as well. We can enter in our sales tax code to tell Design Manager how to tax uh, for this project, if applicable. We can even associate a particular salesperson or designer or design assistant with the project. And here are some of those defaults or settings that I was referring to. For instance, we can input a default purchase order side mark that will appear all of our components and therefore all of the purchase orders for those components. And I've even chose to automatically attach the location name to that side mark, which we'll see down the road. I also input a purchase order designer and extension. This information will appear in the header of the purchase and work orders to our vendors and will indicate to the vendors whom at the company they should be referring to about that particular order. So I could put in my name there or if I have a design assistant I could put in their name or even their email as well. I have my client deposit percentage. Basically how much do I require from the carters in order to have a proposal authorized? and whether or not to include sales tax into that deposit figure. I can optionally enter in some client invoice terms due upon receipt and that will print right on the invoice document of course. I then have an area for some notes and additional information. I could put in cell phone numbers, uh, uh, work numbers, those types of things. If I have a commercial client I could put in their website if desired and then I can put in any notes that are relevant to the project itself. And these notes are for internal use only and will not be seen by the client. And lastly, I even have a tab where I can input all of my budgets for the project. I can put a budget for the entire project or I could even break it down by physical or conceptual areas within the project or locations in Design Manager, as we call them, or I could even do it by uh, categorization of the goods and services that we're providing, freight, uh, accessories, furniture, lighting, etc. So that is the project window. 